Hi guys, welcome back to AlgoTest. We're back with another Signals video and this time we're going to take inputs from three different time frames. Now, that may sound complicated, but believe me, it's really easy and it's really easy to actually execute on your own. So we're going to demonstrate a trading strategy where we're going to use just one indicator, which is the super trend indicator. And we're going to take confirmation from three different time frames for a signal to be generated. If you're new to our channel, we make a lot of content about trading, trading psychology and so many other concepts every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. All right. Let's get back to the video and let's talk about this trading strategy. So like I said, we're going to be using the super trend indicator and we're going to have three different time frames that we need a confirmation from in order to actually take the trade. So the three time frames are the hourly time frame, the 15 minutes time frame and the daily time frame. Let's get straight into it. Now you'll understand this better once we actually build the trading strategy. So let's do that. I'm currently on the AlgoTest landing page and I'm going to click on go to dashboard. In the nav bar, I'm going to navigate to where it says signals and I'm going to cl click on new signal. Now I'm going to click on chart ink because I'm going to demonstrate this using chart ink and we'll just do forward test for now. So the first thing we're going to do is let's build the actual strategy. We're going to be buying options. So we're going to be buying a call when the conditions are satisfied for this, but you could also do the exact inverse of what I'm doing to buy a put. All right, so let's do this on the Bank Nifty index. I'll put the entry time as 9.16, exit time as 3.20. Okay, options, one lot, position will be buy and buy a call. Okay, now we're gonna add a target and a stop loss. So we're gonna add a target of 40% and a stop loss of 20%. If you want, you can also add a trail, but just for this demonstration, we're going to keep it like this. Now I'm gonna click on save and continue and name this strategy as three time frame buying super trend. Okay, click on done. Right, now let's go to charting. All right, I've logged into my charting account. And the first thing we have to do here is actually create a watch list. So in the nav bar where it says dashboard and it says watch lists, click on that. We're going to actually have to create a watch list for the bank nifty index. Okay. So let's click on create a new watch list and let's just name this nifty bank. All right. Now click on save. Cool. Now that that's done, we have to actually create a scan, right? So in the nav bar where it says screeners, click on create scan. This is where we're going to set up the actual trade conditions. What we want is in the daily time frame and in the hourly time frame, we want the close price to be above the super trend value, right? In the hourly time frame and the daily time frame, that's what we want. And in the 15 minutes time frame, we want the closing price to cross above the super trend. When these three conditions are true, we will purchase the call that we just set up. So it says over here, stock passes all of the below filters in cash segment. Now we have to change this cash. So click on cash and select here. We're going to search for the actual watch list that we made. And that was Nifty Bank over here. Click on that. Now let's add our conditions. First condition will be close, right? Crossed above super trend. And I'm going to make the super trend 10 comma 3, which is the standard. And we're going to change this from daily close to the 15 minute close. So this is the first condition, right? 15 minute close has to cross above the super trend in order for us to purchase the call. But there are two more conditions that have to be satisfied, like I just mentioned. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this instead of creating it all over again. Now I'll change this 15 minutes to one hour. And instead of crossed above, I'm going to say is greater than super trend 10.3. All right, that's the one hourly time frame. I'm going to duplicate this one more time and now change it from one hour to one day, right? So when my one day time frame close price is greater than the super trend value in that time frame, as well as the one hour time frame close price greater than the one hour time frame super trend and the 15 minutes close crosses above 
the super trend in the 15 minutes time frame right once these things are true i would like to buy my call okay so we're going to click on save scan name this as three time frame super trend so name this as three time frame buying strategy okay and click on submit okay cool now that that's done all we have to do is create the actual alert right so i'm going to click over here that says create alert and we're going to check every 15 minutes okay notify me you can leave these up to you up to your discretion whatever you like and notifications to be sent over email sms and email totally up to you but i'm just going to select sms and email for now and now this is where we have to paste our webhook url right so we're going to go to algo test and this is the page that we left it at right just click on copy and then the webhook url gets copied this is actually what's used to connect algo test to charting now we're going to paste this over here and click on save alert now it gives me this pop-up that says notification will start tomorrow 9 30 am this is because right now the market is closed and like i said we're just demonstrating how to do this head back to algo test and we're not going to create an exit alert why is that because the exit condition in this strategy will be on the basis of the stop loss or the target profit that we've set we set a stop loss of 20 percent and a target profit of 40 percent to maintain the one is to do this to reward ratio all right and now we just have to click on start listening that's about it it's as simple as that and you can see the three time frame buying strategy is currently listening so let's recap guys we've built a trading strategy in three different time frames the hourly time frame the daily time frame and in the 15 minutes time frame three conditions need to be true price needs to be greater than the close price in the daily and in the hourly time frame have to be greater than the super trend value in the, both of those time frames and in the 15 minutes time frame the close price must cross above the super trend value in the 15 minutes time frame as well now like i said guys an important note here is this is just a template this is just to demonstrate how you can use our tool the kinds of strategies you can build using chart inc but we encourage you to take this template make tweaks to it and then forward test and thereafter if you're confident move on to live trading remember it's always a process it's not gambling it's not jumping into whatever somebody is saying do your own due diligence before you place these trades these are not trading recommendations all right guys thank you for watching this video we hope you enjoyed it we hope you found value and a new kind of trading strategy that you can actually start thinking about and implementing in your own strategy please like this video subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends if you found it helpful